Hi right, YouTube, so quick introduction to what I'm doing. We're going to do a crawfish boil today. We're just starting getting the water boiling. We'll get right back to you with the ingredients and the seasons and stuff that we're going to put in here. Hopefully it's going to turn out real nice and confident in the boil and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, YouTube, so by way of initial ingredients, we're going to start with, we got this bowl here, uh, this dish, uh, a, a whole lot of garlic cloves, and of course, if you watch my videos, you know why I'm using that many garlic cloves, because I believe garlic makes everything better. And then we got this bowl here, uh, with some very pretty, very nice uh, red potatoes, we got two uh, huge onions that I just sliced in half, and then we got some fresh corn on the cob. Uh, that I trim the, end, the ends off of and cut in half. That's what we're going to start out with uh, on this on this crawfish boil. And I'm going to get to that part in a minute as soon as this, this water gets going. Okay? We'll be right back. Peace. Alright, so we got the water going. So what we're going to do is just add, we're not putting any seasoning in at this point, it's just hot water boiling. We're going to add one of these garlic cloves. And then we're going to add our onions, uh, uh, corn on the cob and potatoes. Alright, we gotta be careful because this water starts splashing it could be trouble. Alright. See that in there? We're gonna let that boil for about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, mostly what's gonna be determinative of when we take it out or when we're not gonna take it out, but when it starts boiling, it's gonna be the condition of the potatoes. Alright? So we're gonna let this boil for a while. Uh, let the garlic bleed out the flavor, let the onions bleed out the flavor, let the corn and the potatoes get soft, and then we're going to be right back. Okay, so with the next stage, all we're going to do is, this has been on about close to an hour, um, it's boiling. As I told you before, we have plenty of seasons in. We have some Old Bay. We'll put some Old Bay in there. I'm just going to reach in, sprinkle some in there. I'm not going to do too much because we're going to put some crab boil in there later. But you see what we got, potatoes in there. The onions, you can't really see the potatoes because I just put the stuff in there. We're going to let that simmer for a while and then we'll get back and start adding in uh, the actual crawfish. And we'll see how it turns out. All right, get back to you. All right, so we're going to put the uh, crawfish in. We're from, as I've told you many times before in these videos, from Maryland. We don't have crawfish here. I talked about all the seafood we got. We don't have crawfish. That's more like down south. Um, so these are frozen and they're pre cooked. But we're going to put them in there. Don't have to cook them as long. Obviously, we gotta cook them long enough. Because they aren't frozen anymore. And also, to let the flavor soak in. I'm gonna stir these around a little bit. Okay, so we got that in. Uh, I didn't mention it was five pounds per bag, so it's 10 pounds of crawfish. Now we gotta add some more water, because obviously, there wasn't enough water in there. I'm just doing the potatoes and the, uh, and the corn. And you can take a look. Get that filled up. It's nice, it's perfect. Then we've got a whole bunch of crab boil. And this is crab boil, it can be used for crab boil, shrimp boil, uh, crawfish boil. This is Zataran's brand. So we'll put that in there. Get it stirred up real good. Obviously our potatoes and our corn, and you see that they're still in there, the onions, the garlic, all that stuff is still in there. The old baby we just put in there. You can't smell this, but I'll tell you it smells pretty good. Stir it around a little bit. We're gonna turn up the heat, bring it up to a boil. Doesn't need to boil very long. Uh, we give it five, ten minutes. Um, get the flavors to soak in on them. Uh, and then we'll be back to you. I got one last thing I want to do to it. We'll get back and we'll see. It's going to be good. Peace. Okay, so last up, we got these boiling. They've been on here for a minute. They look really good. In fact, take a look at them real quick. Now we're going to add the shrimp. We got, uh, and this is a little bit different than most people's uh, crawfish boils, but we're gonna add three pounds of large shrimp. I look for jumbo, it didn't have them today. I would have rather had jumbo, but we got what we got. 
they they large and nice. Three pounds. We're gonna mix those around. And we're almost done. It's not gonna take long for those shrimp to get ready. In fact, we're only gonna let this fire run for about another two or three minutes. We're gonna turn it off, let these sit for a few minutes, and the shrimp will cook just in the hot water. They won't actually have to be boiled. Uh, they'll cook in the hot water. And then we're gonna be ready. All right, we'll get back to you in a second. So we ready? Let's take a quick look. They look good. What we're gonna do is scoop it all out of here. Strain it a little bit. I got my helpers. Get these in the pot. You see those shrimp in there? They look bright. They're pink, kind of orange, pinkish. That's how you want shrimp to look when they're ready. And look at those crawfish. Those are just right. All right. So we're gonna finish getting these out the pot. We'll be back with you in about. 15 seconds. All right, you too. So there you go. Look, my son can't even wait for the video. Get started. He digging in. You got your corn. You got your potatoes. The flavor from the garlic and the onions is in there. You got your shrimp. And obviously, you got your crawfish. We are ready to dig in. It's going to be good. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace. Thumbs up. Like. Favorite. Subscribe. All that good stuff. Peace.